Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anessa and I am an author from Toronto, Canada, and I publish under the pen name A and Sage. Um, I write uh, fantasy, as you may have noticed from the intro, um, a lot of uh, paranormal cozy mystery, cozy mystery in general, and um, just a lot of like YA and all kinds of paranormal and witchy and spooky types of things. Um, so far, I have written 18 books and counting. We have uh, a lot more coming out. Um, I'm also working on another project that's more serialized so there are a lot of plans for future releases um, in the next year or two so if you like videos from an author um, directed towards other creatives and other writers then make sure that you're subscribed and that you hit the bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming videos um, i also do a lot of planner videos on this channel i am a planner i'm a huge plotter um except for the serialized <laughs> fiction which i'm plotting as i go and that's new for me uh, but i am still plotting it little by little um but i do really like planners i like stationery i like planning i have a lot of planners and i switch them out all the time um and so that's what today is it's another planner video we usually have one a month of these just because i love them so much and i think you guys do too so i have uh, mentioned on my social media if you follow me anywhere there that i have switched over to bullet journaling um, and so i wanted to share the bullet journal that i am currently in um, now this is almost like a temp bullet journal because i have um a pre-order on a limited edition archer and olive um halloween gorgeous bullet journal and that's not getting shipped out until the end of December. So I'm gonna be using that next year. Um, but I figured in the meantime, I could have a temporary bullet journal where I could kind of play around with different layouts, different ways of working in the bullet journal. Um, and so I figured that why not set it up so I can show you guys what I have in it so far. Um, this is a bullet journal with, it's got like hollow um, edges. It's really, quite a stunning and a really quality journal. I got this off of Amazon. This was about, um, I think $30 Canadian. Um, it's got this moon and kind of moth, um, kind of magical on the front little design. It's gold. Um, I do wish the design was matching the hollow here. Like maybe if it was silver and not gold, but that's okay. Cause my pen has gold in it. Um, as always, I am using um for every day my sarasa zebra sarasa uh this is um one of the metal casings that they have this is the grand um and inside i just have a dry 0 0.5 refill so this journal is uh i believe has 100 70 pages um it is the same quality of paper like the thickness i was as archer and olive so it's very thick there's no bleed there's no uh, bleed through at all when you open it up you've got like a spot here in the front let me make sure that they are centered the way we were at the beginning um so you've got a spot in the front to write your name and i just put my name down and i put a couple of uh, vinyl stickers from my shop glitter fritter if you like spooky witchy things make sure you check out glitter fritter um my shop on etsy i have a october drop coming up for halloween we're gonna have some really fun stuff there um and then i also have one of the cards um, that you can actually get in the shop as well that one of the premium note cards uh with one of my designs on it um so we've got mimi yum yum and winston those are the three main characters in the shop so the first page that I did um, was I tested out a fairly minimal 2023 because we're in 2023, kind of like a yearly uh, cover page here, um, another vinyl from my shop. And then I did a grid breakdown for myself so that I don't have to count every single time. I do the same types of layouts. Um, so I've just kind of broken it down. You can find this online too if you just search bullet journal um, grid template or anything like that. I also have a key. And I use the standard bullet journal writer carol key where you have like a task, the task completed is you exit out. If it's migrated, you put an arrow. If it's canceled, you cross it out. An event is an open circle. Um, and then you fill it in when that event has um, finished or you can cross it out. I sometimes do both. Important is just an exclamation point, And then a note is just a dash. So I use that kind of key, but I have it in the front in case I forget or need to reference. My next page that's marked off by the first bookmark, there are three bookmarks here, um, but then my next page is the yearly 
um, future planning log, I guess, overview, whatever you would call it. Um, I set this up for six months just because it broke down the pages fairly easily. However, I will likely not be using this bullet journal past January since my other one that I'm really looking forward to will come in, but I do have February here for future planning as well. Uh, so when I do the bullet journal transfer into the new planner, I kind of have everything at a glance. Um, and then the way I set this up is I have just a monthly at the top. This doesn't take very long to make, especially if you do a more minimal planning system, which is what I'm trying to do in this. And then I just highlighted every other uh, line on the dates. And then I in here, I basically have my trips, any trips we're taking, birthdays, if I have takeovers in groups, podcasts, appearances, etc. And then the future future log, which is everything past February, which is mostly um design stuff for next year um all kinds of things here so another vinyl from the shop is a, it's a stack of magical little books i love this one so september layout i went super minimal and you'll see my october layout which is the opposite because <laughs> i'm trying to play around like i said the whole purpose of having a bull journal for me is I was thinking of getting the new Hobonichi line so I don't know if you you saw my previous um, planners. So I was in a ring bound for a bit and I have beautiful ring bound that I really, really love. Um, I have a bunch of them. Um, I was in a Hobonichi. Um, I tried a different bound planner and they're all great. They are just very, very structured. And if something is off about the structure, if one thing is not exactly the way I need it to be, then I find myself not liking using the planner. And so I figured with a bullet journal, and we'll see, I might not like this either. And I might switch again because I usually do once in a while. But I figured in a bullet journal, I can change that layout as much as I want to. And I can have a vertical layout one week and a horizontal the next week and something absolutely wild the week after. Um, I could have a daily page if I want to add it. I could not have daily pages. I could journal. I can do whatever I want, right? And that's my reason for switching to a bullet journal in the first place. But for September, I figured I'm going to go super minimal and we'll see how that works. So I just did like the most simple cover page you could think of. Um, and the monthly marked off by, um, cause we are in September still when I'm filming this, but marked off by the next bookmark. This is my monthly again, super minimal. I didn't even block off, um, any vertical lines here. So everything's just like horizontal. I've got my goals on the side. Um, and then again, the same kind of. September tag here. So super minimal design. And I really, really like this actually. For me, this worked really well. I tried something different in October. I'm not sure if I like it as much. Um, then I have my um, cover design, client work here, editing, uh, freelance writing, um, and uh, any kind of beta reading that I'm doing. And I have this all marked off with a bookmark. And so this I wanted to show you guys, um, this is one of the bookmarks that's going to be dropping in the October. Um, it's very reflective because it's heavily laminated, but this is one of the designs that are coming up in October. I just absolutely love it. It's like this little haunted house with yum yum coming out of it. It's so cute. Uh, and there's going to be sticker sheets and all that stuff. Horizontal layout. So they did for September. I did a couple of stickers all from my shop and some washi. Again, super minimally, just simple bullet journal. I love this. This for me worked really, really well. I could be messy if I wanted to and I could just do what I want. I did the same thing just because I really loved it for the week after. And that kind of took me to the end of September because I started this mid-September. Then, and then marking off again with the last book um, bookmark that they have, Ruben, for the week that we're currently in as I'm filming this. And then I have an October future log at the end of every single weekly one because that kind of helps me keep track. Then I tried something different for October and I really liked this, um, but I think the full page, like I enjoyed doing this, this was fun, but the full page layout for me, I don't like it. Like, I think maybe the September one was, let's see, too minimal, but this was way too much. And I don't think I'm going to do this again. It was really fun doing it, but like, I don't have the time to do this every single month. Um, as creative as it lets me be. And also, I just feel like it's so heavy uh, to look at that it just gives me anxiety. And then I did the same thing on the monthly. And this is what I mean by the monthly here that we have. 
is just so much more pleasing for me to look at and i feel like i can organize myself so much better than this monthly here this is so wild there's so much happening that it's hard for me to see what i actually have going on so i don't think even the way that the um squares are laid out i think i enjoy this situation much better like when it's like this just for my personal taste um but i did try to carry the theme across so you'll see how i did that um again went back to more minimal except this little ghosty here for the cauldron press and the freelance and the editing um and that worked well and then i did something different for the weekly and i have to say i don't hate it i kind of like having this type of weekly and then also having um where am i and having the, here we are and this type of weekly so kind of um torn between these two but the beauty of this is that i can switch it around every single week but i did try this kind of weekly for october for the first week and i really really like it now the one thing that i do is again because i can change my mind i don't plan out every single week to kind of go along with this so what i actually do is i tape in a piece of note card in here and i do rough notes for myself for the week after and then when i'm planning i transfer those over but i've plotted out just like the where the weeks will go because that will stay for sure and then i did like a november future long and some washi on the bottom here so i can get november going as i'm kind of plotting the weeks and that's all i have so far i think um, i put some more vinyl back here and then in the back here um, I have just a couple of stickers, my postcard with my publishing schedule here, another one of the bookmarks from my shop. So this one is like really popular. I actually did like a whole um, order for a book box of them. There's like a, a couple hundred of these that I had to do, which was um, time consuming, but I'm so excited for other people to have them in a book box. Um, I did some pen tests back here, as you can see, absolutely no way through, no matter which pen or liner or fine liner you use and that's really really great uh and then just some um, color coding stuff that i could use in the monthlies and one thing i should mention is that i no longer do any color coding so i do color coding in my monthlies but as you can see in the weeklies it's straight bullet journal and i'm really enjoying this so so far so good um this is how i'm using it um if you're a bullet journal user and you have some tips for me please drop them in the comments below or if you have like a favorite bullet journal or any pens if you have favorite bullet journal plans please drop them below because while i love my sarasa for this um i think the fine liner works really really well in the bullet journal as well so any other pen tips that you have or any uh, bujo tips or if you want to see another video on this um, maybe apply with me or something make sure you comment below because i love reading those and gives me ideas for videos as well and for stationery i could buy so hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you're part of the community um, that we have here it's growing so fast and i'm so so happy about it i welcome everybody who's here you guys mean so much to me i love making these videos for you all uh, so thank you for subscribing if you are subscribed or if you're thinking about it go ahead and do it <laughs> join us it'll be fun <laughs> um, and uh, if you like my books and have supported me by reading them um, or spreading the word then again thank you from the bottom of my heart i am trying to do different things with publishing and trying different things now that i have a bit more time to do so so um, you'll see more news on that for me in the upcoming future so as always i hope you guys stay magical and i will see you next week for another video bye